Hi, I'm Tyson with Ag Aviation Adventures, and I appreciate you tuning in today. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe, as well as give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate that. So today we're talking about family farming, and does it even still exist? Well, that's a good question. So according to the USDA, it definitely still exists. They say that of all the U.S. farms, there are approximately 97% that are still family owned and operated. Now, of those 97%, 88% are what they would consider small, meaning the gross income is less than 350000 And please remember, that is gross income. So not necessarily what you're taking home at the end of the day. Actually, not that at all. So, from my experience, everyone that I spray for, they are all family-owned and operated, family-run. I don't know where it came from that that doesn't really exist anymore, because I have not seen that at all. And I've sprayed in a lot of different states for a lot of different people, and... They are all family owned. I think it's great marketing if you go into a restaurant or a store, grocery store, and it says, ah, all this is from family farmers. It makes you feel great. And it should, because that's a good thing. But as I have stated, most of this, 97%, is still family farmed and owned. Now, that could mean a couple different things, or it could kind of, I guess, look a couple different ways. Because, just because you're a family farm doesn't necessarily mean that you're small. Possibly back in the day, that did mean you were small, because I think all farmers were probably pretty small back then. But today, with the price of equipment, the price of land, it's just not very feasible, in my opinion, to really be that small. So, I mean, land, if you don't own it and you have to lease it, it's just, it's a huge expense to lease land. And if you own it, you're probably making payments on it. So you have that payment no matter what. And then the equipment that it takes to actually farm, the tractors, the combines, grain bins for storage, buildings for storage, I mean, everything that it takes to farm is expensive. It, you could easily have a million or two million dollars wrapped up in your farm. That, I mean, that, that really wouldn't even be that hard to do with just how expensive everything. I mean, you could get a combine for $350,000. Uh, you can get a used one for $200,000. Right? They're just crazy expensive, as well as tractors. So, in order to have expensive stuff like that, you have to farm a lot of acres to pay for it. So, I would say that a majority of the guys that I spray for, they are going to farm less than 5,000 acres. However, I do spray for some people that are a lot bigger than that, 20 or 30,000 acres. That, that's only a couple. I mean, that's uh, there's rarely anyone that does that, but I do have a couple that are big farmers like that. And even those big guys are still family farmers. They have their kids on the farm, they've got their brother, their uncle, their grandpa, their dad, whatever it is. And that's how a lot of these farms are. I've got a couple friends right now. One is working for his father and his uncle, and he's going to be taking over the farm when they're done. And then I have another one that is taking over the farm from his uncle. And I think that's kind of part of how they grow as well, because back in the day, maybe the 1930s or 1940s, they started farming. It was kind of small. They had kids. They were able to grow a little bit. They had help. And those kids had kids. And it just kind of keeps growing. And I think that could be you know, part of the reason why they can grow so large. But at some point, which is what I've seen, I mean, there's just not, there's not any land left, so it's not like you can go buy land. The only way they could do it is if you lease it from someone that just happens to not want to farm anymore, or that same person wants to sell it. Again, it's expensive to buy the land, so those are two options as far as, I mean, how you could grow. But uh, that's 
kind of what I've seen is that everyone I spray for, they're all family farmers. I have not seen any of these big corporations out farming, but even though you are a family farmer, it still takes a lot of work as well as hired help on the farm to be able to farm that many acres. Also, I don't know if this could be part of it, but a lot of these farmers, I mean, I guess I don't know for sure, but I would sure have to think that these guys are corporations for tax purposes. So an S Corp, LLC, whatever it may be. And that's, again, just for taxes. You don't even have to be, I mean, you could be one person and be a corporation for tax purposes. So I don't know if that has something to do with it. I honestly don't know, but nonetheless, they're family run, they're family farm. So when you go to the grocery store and you're buying your food, feel good about it because you're supporting the family farmer, the American farmer, and that's awesome. Give yourself a thumbs up. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. If there's anything in particular that you would like to know about, leave it in the comments below, and I'll try to make a video on it. If you have any questions, again, leave it in the comments below, and I'll get back to you. Thanks again for watching. I'm Tyson with Ag Aviation Adventures.